<clears throat> let's suppose we now want to create one for our purposes here, just to quickly give you a sense of how you create a work order. So again, I'll leave the customer here the same, and you have to give it a unique, you know, a unique ID, which it gets automatically, but you can now give it uh, a unique, it doesn't have to be unique, but a name that you can find it with. So call it John's uh, work order, meaning it was created by John. I have these optional characteristics. Again, these are different than the priority and status settings of the inspection module. So you can set those uniquely for your organization. And similarly, categories, you can have work orders that categories that make sense for your workflows. Let's set again uh, quickly some of these um, parameters here for the start date and time of the work order. Maybe this is a service window. Maybe this is the time the work uh, more uh, needs to be done in. So we need to you know, provide enough time uh, to do the work, uh, provide a description uh, of what it is that, um, that needs to happen. And here we have instructions. Uh, again, it's, it's simply a text field, so you can monitor, uh, provide information for the agent, uh, agent being, of course, uh, the technician or whoever it is that's going to be in the field. Um, as we did before, we could make the assignment right now if that was a sensible thing from a workflow, uh, you know, if that was how your organization works, we can certainly accommodate that. But usually you'll want to wait. That's why those things are not in red, don't have red flags on them. Uh, here are some optional things that you can do uh, from, for work, managing work orders. Uh, so here you, we can, uh, again, have a check-in, check-out process so that the um, person who's been assigned this will, will be asked to check in. You can make this mandatory, or again, you can leave it as an optional thing, and it will provide, again, that timekeeping information so maybe you know um, for billing purposes, uh, uh, payroll purposes, uh, how much time uh, the person is working on the job. Uh, you also know, again, when they check in and check out, their GPS location there, and so you can um, verify they were at the work site during the time that they were uh, saying they were there. Um, these are optional things, and you can delete them. I'm going to uh, delete this from the uh, list. You can also request that an estimate uh, be created. So uh, an example might be a plumbing job. You go, plumber goes on site and they want to uh, cost the job out before the client uh, gives them the go ahead. Here's how you can request them to do that. You can make this a mandatory step or make it an optional step. Uh, if it, uh, and, and the tools in the app are available. We won't show that in this particular slide. Uh, presentation, but we will show you, uh, you will be able to see how the app works um, later. Now, uh, with the app, they'll be able to create the estimate, and uh, here uh, you can help them by creating a template of an estimate that contains common items, common materials, common service categories, and their costs, so that when they, uh, and you can name it and, and, and pull them up um, dynamically when you're creating the work order so that uh, the agent has that information handy. I'm going to not require that kind of information. Uh, here, it, the idea is uh, to include a form. This might be a checklist that you would like to provide um, uh, the, um, the uh, person in the field. So you might give them some, uh, you know, like a work completion checklist and ask them to please go through each step and verify they did that. Uh, it's completely optional uh, unless you require it. Uh, here's an invoice uh, component. So you can enable, again, based on the, on, um, whether it's appropriate for your workflow to have the uh, technician in the field create an invoice for the customer. And, uh, and you can elect to have the customer sign off on that to uh, approve that the work was done. That can, uh, that can also include uh, a customer signature with a, um, uh, as a sign off on the quality of the work and get feedback uh, about your service quality that way. I'm going to uh, delete that from the work order. Uh, and, um, and that's you know, how I would send it out, or I could elect 
uh, to do uh, none of that and just choose a package that's already existing with different options in it. But I'm not going to um, pull that in right now. I'm going to save this work order.